The yarn I'm using is the Caron Simply Soft um, yarn. I got it on sale at Walmart. And you're gonna start off with a slip knot and you're gonna chain 30 or however long you want your panel to be. So I did 30, but however long you want yours to be is how many um, you chain. But always remember how many you um, chained. After I chain my 30, I'm going to chain one. And then in that second stitch from the hook, I'm going to do a double crochet. And then I'm going to double crochet all the way down to the end. I kind of got out of um, the frame here, but just know that I'm double crocheting all the way to the end. All right, and once you get to the end in this last stitch here, you're gonna um, do five double crochets into this last stitch. And that should have helped you create a curve and this is what it should look like. And so you're just gonna continue to double crochet down in every stitch like normal so in this first stitch here you're gonna do a double crochet and just continue that all the way down congratulations you finished off your first row now you're gonna chain two flip it around and start your second row and you're gonna double crochet all the way down to the end Okay guys, here's where I got a little confusing. I got kind of out of frame and you can barely see, but at the end, in that last stitch, you are going to double crochet and then those extra five stitches, we're going to do something special. Alright, so you're going to double crochet and then do another double crochet and after your second double crochet, you're going to chain one. And then it should bring you to your top stitch, which would be your third stitch of the five. And you're going to double crochet. And then after your top stitch, which is the third stitch, you're going to chain one again. So you're going to chain one before and after you double crochet in the top stitch. And then double crochet all the way around. So it should be a pattern. So whenever you get to your top stitch, you're going to chain one, double crochet in the top stitch chain one and then work your way all the way down I'm gonna show you one more time you see your top stitch here that is where you're gonna chain one before you get there double crochet and then chain one when you leave and just double crochet all the way down like you would normally and the more rows you do the bigger your curve is gonna get so that little spot where you chain one do not forget to treat that as a stitch also so don't be don't forget to double crochet in that space also once you've done a few rows this is what your project should look like and this is about six rows how big you want it is going to depend on your breast side and this is my first finished panel i think i did about eight rows also it's going to be very 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 important to remember how many of what you did like how many stitches you did in the beginning to get your length how many rows you did and such and such remember your pattern because you're going to have to create an identical one just like it because you're going to need two panels because you have two breasts this is why i recommend remembering how much of what you did because one of my panels is wider and then one is pointier but it doesn't matter to me Lastly, you're going to stitch these two panels together. You can either weave it with a crochet needle or sew it with a sewing needle. Alright guys, and don't forget to check out part 2 of this video to see how I added my scraps.